The last few days, I've been spending some time with, I'll describe him as a most peculiar gentleman. Incredibly intelligent, incredibly capable, and loves helping people. He loves fixing things, loves building things, loves doing things, and any time that he's around, he's always looking for things that he can fix or improve in other people's lives. He is always giving. And he never accepts anything in return. And let me be very clear. I am not about to praise this behavior. He won't let anyone pay him for all of the work that he does. And he thinks, I believe, that in doing so, he is doing them a favor. He's, he's actually being even more generous and even nicer to them. But the fact is that this man has a history of relationships and friendships that just fall and crumble away because the energy exchange is all wrong. When you do things for people again and again, they want to give back. And if you don't let them, they come to resent you. And when your inability to receive anything back is keeping you under-resourced so that you can't be your best self, but you won't accept help from others, yet you insist on continuing to do things for them, that's not a virtue. That's you weakening yourself at the expense of yourself. <laughs> because you're trying to be so good to other people, you're, you're, you're making yourself less for them. So you have less to give and they, you also don't get to give them the joy of giving to you. It's a very selfish thing. It feels so nice to repay someone, to, to enumerate someone for hard work and, and work well deserving or, or, or money well earned in fact it's a nice feeling to pay a tradesperson who's done a, an incredible job you feel good about that you want to do it and when you're prevented from doing so it's unpleasant there's something missing you, you didn't get to have the joy of giving back and if you're stopping people from having joy because you're trying to be generous and good. And it's also costing you, you've really screwed something up along the way. And the reason that this video is potentially relevant to my ADHD audience is that we as people with ADHD are chronic people pleasers. <laughs> Our self-esteem inside is often so shattered by a lifetime of underachieving when we didn't quite know why due to our own undiagnosed and untreated ADHD, that deep inside there's this part of us that believes that we're not worthy of love or praise or respect or whatever it might be. And most of us for decades after, diagnosis is still compensating for that. Still giving, 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 giving and refusing to receive because a part of us doesn't believe that we deserve it. And all that this does is weaken us and take from others. It takes their opportunity to give. And giving feels good. So it's a very selfish thing. And if you're doing this, you should stop. And that's hard. It is a practice. You will have to work on it. You will have to work quite hard and I, I literally mean it, like for me, when I first practiced allowing people who wanted to give to me, who wanted to help me, who wanted to support me, I had such strong urges to push back and say, no, 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 I won't even let you. And I had to actively work against my own mind and, and habits and ingrained patterns to go, oh, this sucks, I hate this, I hate this, okay, I'll let you help me. <laughs> okay. I had to push through to learn to be able to receive 
and I want to be quite clear in speaking about myself now, it was fucking hard. Not just in like the difficulty of coordinating help, it was difficult for me to accept help without wanting to push it away or shut it down or find a way to prevent people from giving to me. And I worked at it. It was difficult work. I sat in a state of discomfort, pushing through, like forcing myself to allow people to help me. And it was agony until I learned to actually be able to do it. As in to just accept it. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> now people around me get to help me and give to me and that's awesome for me and for them. I can give back and back and forth and the energy just circulates and moves around and everyone's happy and everyone's thriving and everyone's being lifted in ways they weren't when I refused to allow people the gift of giving to me. This is important medicine. For those who lack it, you must change this. I cannot emphasize enough, and you know it as well. You know this. Deep inside, you know if you're doing this, you know that it's wrong. <laughs> and you can put yourself on this virtuous high horse and pontificate all these wonderful reasons why you're so good for never letting anyone help you and you know deep inside it's bullshit because every time you do often because you crumble completely and need help you know it's good for everyone involved so do the work you won't regret it